we're going to use a file index card, a card, a church envelope, and a time card for today's mini challenge in the challenge. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome to today's mini challenge in the challenge number three. This is the third challenge in March and um, we had five challenges in February so we ended up with we're like it seems like we're behind but we're really not um so we are going to be using one of these file cards and um you'll see i i found i had a whole bunch of those in storage so um using that a, a regular envelope and a card a church envelope i've already covered it so there are addresses covered and a time card we will also be using a variety of other die cuts and um, these were scratch paper and a piece of the Tim Holtz wallpaper that was a scrap as well. And so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we have this, um, we have this and it is going to go into one of the large pockets in my peacock journal. So let's see. Okay, so this is gonna be where the large pocket is gonna be. And so we're gonna wanna cut this down just a little bit, just so that we know that we are totally <laughs> not gonna be kept out of being able to use it where I wanna use it, okay? So that is that. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I have taken the church envelope okay so it's a it's a church envelope and I have added one of the pieces of the um, scrapbook paper kit that I'm I'm using up in the month of March I'm going to use this whole kit all of it now the, on the back of this it has like an orange background that doesn't match either this journal or the bird journal that I'm working on. So I just glued that down and I added, this is one of the journal cards from the Peacock Digital Kit, Peacock Feathers Digital Kit. And I have scored it just about a little more than a quarter of an inch and put it underneath there and put it in. And so there's a little flip up place right there. Um, we can add something else here maybe later. It could be a pocket or it can be something that can open up. So we will see where it goes to, but right now it flips open. And then this is the other side of our, our um, envelope. And we are gonna go ahead and put this on the bottom of the, on the bottom of our index card or our file file what is it what would it be called file index card I don't know what it is I'm gonna call it a file index card I'm gonna go ahead and add glue right along the edge okay and that will give us a hinge like okay so we're gonna make sure that we're in all the way up and in that <laughs> Okay, so there we've added our our church pot, our church envelope. There you go. So we had some uh, problem here. I'm just going to go ahead. That's a pretty big problem. We're going to go ahead and add some washi tape there and cover that. Uh, that will be, you know, things happen, right? Okay, washi tape is the cure. <laughs> Many times washi tape is the cure. Now when you use washi tape on something that has a hinge, you need to make sure that your washi tape ends at the hinge so that it, it can flow back and forth freely. Okay, so there we go. There we go. And of course, if you like to um, distress things, 
you're welcome to 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 distress all of these things. I am not a big fan of distressing. So I do have this is also from the Peacock digital kit and it will fit inside of here and I had these two pieces left from yesterday's actually it was Wednesday's live video and I'm going to go ahead and add those to that and that will give us a little bit of um, note paper and so it gives you something to write on there and we'll just put it inside that little pocket and there we go so now also for this front here um, we can go ahead and add this to the side you'll still you'll be able to see one of the little birds down there and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down and it's gonna give me a tuck Okay, the difference between that I see between a tuck and a pocket is the puck the pocket would be closed on three sides, possibly with a flap on it even. And a tuck either is just closed on two sides like this. There you go. Sometimes on your long ones, though, they'll they'll just be they'll be close on three sides. So I don't know. That doesn't make sense, does it? Well, I'm going to call this a tuck. <laughs> okay. So this is also this is another piece of the ephemera from the Peacock kit. The Peacock digital kit is an amazing value. You get 40 files, 40 different files. It's not like. Um, 10 files of it is a total totally 40 files okay so I'm trying to I was thinking about doing something over here I think we'll go down and we'll you know I'm, I'm very big on pockets everywhere but I think we'll have this pocket come from this side so I'm going to put my hand here so that I don't put glue on this side. This is from the Tim Holtz wallpaper and um, I think I was hoarding it so I am making myself use it. So I'm going to go up pretty close to the edge of the envelope here and we'll be able to put something in there if we want to. Okay, so we'll keep checking to make sure that that is down. Um, so we have a card, and what we're going to do is we are going to take our washi tape, and we are going to line our washi tape. Now these are the two that I've been using all through the journal so far, but I have started to add some others. I've been using... Um, Well, we're going, we've been using this one. Okay. And I did use this one. Take this, this dot one and add it down at the bottom. Okay, so if you need to make a card really, really fast, this is a way to make a card really, really fast. When I need to make, when I make cards, I usually make 40 or so at a time. Now you're going to come back and you're going to grab a sliver of the card and that. And now you have a party inside your card. Okay, so a little bunting and you can put this one also in there or you can put it somewhere else I'm going to put it somewhere else in the journal um, let's see I'm figuring we'll be using 
Oh, my fingers are, keep hitting the plastic and not. So we can put this one on, on here. Okay, because I don't like to I don't like to waste anything. That is a uh, part of my mode of operation, my MO. <laughs> okay, so there we've got that. We'll be able to use that for something. Okay, so this is the front, and um, you can have it either orientation, but I want to put it here. So, but it's okay that that's in that direction. I'm not gonna. Okay, so we have cut out, we fussy cut. So um, if you haven't ever fussy cut, what it is is you're going to go around the edge of your item. This is uh, um, cut out, this is cardstock this time. And so I usually like to leave a little bit of the white. It, it's kind of more forgiving, it seems to be, when I leave a little bit of the white edge. And you don't, I didn't even need to, to do this. Um, I could have left it the way I had it cut. But this way you get an idea of fussy cutting. And fussy cutting is an amazing tool that you will have because it can turn anything into an element um, for you to use for an embellishment. So it can turn wallpaper, um, like flowers that are on wallpaper, you can cut them out singly and just by cutting around them. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this to the front of this card and um, I think it needs I think it needs something. So don't don't faint or panic. <laughs> I I've, I've been doing this a little bit lately. Okay. I'm going to just add some of the green. added a little bit of the green and we're gonna go ahead and glue this on and I'm gonna to want to make sure that there's some on both sides of the card just in case the glue and this particular washi tape doesn't doesn't work okay so even if it just has a little bit on each side That'll help it to stay on the card. Okay. So there's that. Now I had a, we had several things up here. Um, there's the piece of lace. So I thought we could probably add some lace. So this is your card. I mean, honestly, if you had some words you could go ahead, like a little square of words, you could just put that on there, um, popped up on some lace or something, and you'd have a card. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more to this. We're going to add the beautiful day. Just because that, that brings some of the green. That I think that helps with... The, with our um, the peacock look is this green that is part of the eyes on the tail the color and then to bring it into other pieces so there we have simply just added some washi tape and some lace and we have a beautiful card and you can open it up and you can journal inside the card and if you were putting sentiments or quotes you could put a quote or a sentiment inside there I think a postage stamp would look really
kind of cool. Okay, we have a pheasant and a pheasant and a pheasant. Okay, I guess I guess it's a pheasant. Flying pheasant. Twenty-five cent stamp, canceled. I'm gonna put it there. So just doing a little layering with some junk. So you might have some canceled postage stamps hanging around and if you don't, uh, you might start saving them. <laughs> There's a, some really pretty ones out there right now. There's some rose ones that are really, really pretty. And um, I didn't see the love stamp this year. I got a cactus, a couple of cactus stamps. Okay, so there we go. So that, I'm going to put that card right here. Okay, and you know what? Let's go ahead and make it into... Um, a notebook. We can do that really quickly with some I have this vintage it is vintage um, note paper. It was in that trunk with all the stuff from the 70s. So I folded it in half and then I'm and then I'm folding it in half the other way. Then I'm going to cut it. And I'm just going to go ahead and put, put this inside. It works. Find the center. There's the center. You could add other um, papers if you wanted to. And you can either go from the inside or the... Wow. I have, I have no strength with that big needle. Um, I bought needles at the store today. By the way, I have, I do have another little haul video. I went to the Dollar General and I picked up some, um, some more of that, that stationery. Um, there was a, another place that had it in the store that I hadn't seen. So I, I did pick up that and I'll, I'll do that. So a little haul. And I, ha I haven't found the box with the other Dollar Tree stuff in it yet. But when I do, when I find it, oh wow, that's a mess. Oh well, see if we can, yeah, we can at least get it tight enough. Okay, tight but not too tight. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we can just go ahead and bind that. Very simple binding since there's no extra little pages or anything. So that gives us a little mini notebook. You could put a pocket in there if you wanted to. And um, don't want to lose. That was my last needle that was even close to being able to be a binding needle. So I'm going to put that in here. Okay. So we have all that. And then we have this place here. And we're going to use the time card. And let's see. So we're going to cut it at, cut it at here. <laughs> cut it here. And then cut it on the top for it to fit. And it's just going to fit right here in this little spot. Oh, I hate that we're going to lose the, the number, but we'll use that on something else. Okay, now um, we are going to go ahead, <laughs> of course, we are going to make a pocket out of this, okay, because it's red on this side, uh, it, that probably doesn't bother you, but that doesn't, well, it actually kind of would match this particular journal, but I'm going to go ahead and 
make a pocket. And we're not going to put anything in this pocket this time. We're going to let this pocket be empty and be some be a place that um, whoever this journal belongs to, they can go ahead whoop, wow, <clears throat> and fill it. Okay, so you have Okay, so after you put it down, it, you can check and see if it's coming off your the edge at all or if you need to to trim it. I think we're good on both sides. Okay, so what we end up with is we end up with this little file pocket that, and um, well, we can we can decide whether we want to leave that as a flap or close it. I'm actually going to close it because just in that little period of time, it was irritating to me. Okay. There we go. And then for, we'll decorate it just a little bit. Some washi. Okay, and so the thing that we didn't do yet is the stamping, and um, so where did the stamps go? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I have these awesome stamps from Bonnie that she gifted to me. I'm looking to find something that I can use for a large, to back a large stamp. Aha, oh, probably not quite. Well, how about crossways? Crossways, it almost fits. So this is a baseball card holder, and I saw a couple in here that I thought would be perfect with my peacock theme. Okay. And of course you can do this before. Oh, it doesn't want to stay. and go like that and then like that okay so I put this edge down in the purple and then started it and then went across all the colors and then added on this edge I loaded more of the teal and then I'm going to come over here and I guess I'll use the envelope as my do it this way. So if we put it over the washi tape. Okay, and then so we get kind of an ombre 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 <laughs> look. There. Ooh, cool. Okay, so let's see. A little purple all the colors and a little teal 
and I'll pull this one up a little bit. I like it. A little purple across all the colors and the teal. So this is called masking when you <laughs> when you put something so that it doesn't um, go across, doesn't color across. Okay. Now remember we have the other little stamp that I used before. This is a pine needle stamp that I have, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some color. To give you the look of a peacock feather. There we go. Okay, so the mini challenge in the challenge is to use some type of index card. It can be a big one like this. You can use a smaller one. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and make one. You can make it by using a card and adding a tab. You can cut it to have a tab. You can use your tab punch board and get your tab. Um, so there you go. You So you want some kind of file index card. You want some kind of different envelope. If you don't have one, just take an envelope and make it make one side of it fancy. So you can take a privacy envelope or a business envelope and make it fancy. Okay? And then, um, and you don't have to make your thing like this. Now your time card you can use ledger paper. I just want you to use something that has lines on it, something that's a little different. Um, yeah, if you were in the party and you got your the ledger paper, the cards, the ledger cards, um, digital kit, you can or digital page, you can do that. And so, yeah, so you're going to use fancy envelope, index card time card and random and then other things that you have oh and a card that's right oops and a card okay so four things that you need to use a fancy envelope okay fancy something that has a fancy edge fancy envelope index um, folder okay a card and a time card or, or a recipe card. You know, one of the things that, that come in the photo boxes. So for this, for this, okay? And then you're going to make a pocket, something that's going to go into a pocket using fancy envelope, a card, an index card, this, and, oh, and stamping. I forgot about that part. And stamping, okay? So let's write that down on our things to do card here. We are going to use index file card. Okay, so one that has a tab. Doesn't have to have an initial, it could have a number, it can have nothing, but a card with a tab. Um, fancy envelope. And your fancy envelope, you can just cut your envelope with the, um, you know, the, the scissors, the fancy scissors. You can just cut it, just, you can tear it. Just a fancy envelope, a card, time card, or 
lined card. Stamping. Okay, and then you can use anything else from your stash. You're gonna make something, it's gonna all be put together on one thing and something that can fit into an envelope. Or not an envelope, into a large pocket or into a pocket. Okay, so it's something that has all, it doesn't have to have be just like this, but, it ha but it's one piece that has all those pieces connected to it and all those things going on. Okay, so the deadline for this is March 27th, 2020. Okay, now mini challenge in the challenge, you can choose to do it and put it into your journal or you can make it and have it be for a future project. Um, it does not have to go into your journal and also, you don't have to be making the big journal to participate in the mini challenges and the other way around. You don't have to make do the mini challenge if you're making the big journal. It's special and it's extra. So that is our mini challenge in the challenge number three for March. Part of our March Spring Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. And again, you're going to use an index file card, so something like that or that, a fancy envelope. It just means that your, um, your flap is fancy, okay? Um, a card, you can do whatever you want with your card. Time card or lined card, so again, time card or one of those, those cards and uh, stamping okay so we did some stamping on there um, so there you go I hope you'll join us and if you're interested in joining the March Spring Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge the details video is in link is in the description box down below and as also the Peacock Digital Kit will be um, the link for that will be in the description box down below. All of the digitals in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop are on sale for 50% off through the end of March. Um, actually through April 1st. They are all on sale. So um, do check that out. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to go watch another video because YouTube really likes that. Thanks for being here. If you're still here, say pheasant stamp. Pheasant stamp? That means you're still here. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.